education, we have a bunch of programs that um, there's a uh, uh, school program, pre-K, early childhood, GED preparation. Uh, they have a computer lab that we just built. Uh, we have cooking classes, but we also have another program uh, that's called, uh, well, I'll go into that in a second, uh, which is homework help. But Nathan's going to go into that and share a little bit because this guy is super great. He comes in, helps, and does homework. Uh, so just share a little bit about homework help. Alrighty, so I've been helping with the homework help. So this is basically something any of you guys can do, and they're really down and volunteers. So if you guys want to, you know, join that, you know, let me know. Um, so it's Tuesday, Thursday at Dayton. It's literally like three miles from here, so it's pretty close. You guys can all handle it. They, you're literally teaching like kindergartners through sometimes twelfth graders like how to write their ABCs. So I think you guys can all handle that. That's pretty simple. It's you know you only have you only have to come for like an hour a week, you know, two hours a week, whatever. Um, on Tuesday or Thursday from like 2.30 to 5, 30-ish, um, you know, it's not that bad. You know, when I first started, I was like, you know, okay, it's mobile home park. I've never really been there, you know. Uh, is, what's it like? You know, it's really not that bad. So um, we really want you to kind of think about that. It's, you know, you, don't, you only have to do it maybe, you know, once a week, maybe a month. It doesn't really matter, but they're really down volunteers. So you can help these little kids with their writing ABCs, or you can help the high schoolers with, you know, their calculus or whatever. <laughs> um, so, you know, if you want more information, you know, talk to me, talk to him. Uh, we'll kind of get you to that, but they're really looking for volunteers now. Yes, we're looking for volunteers. That's the whole point of me coming here for you guys. One of those things is we need volunteers, okay, for homework help. Another thing we do is a resource connection. So we do a food distribution and delivery. We do a clothing drives. The, and the last thing that we have is faith development. So that's why I'm here uh, speaking to you guys today about this. So I run a program called Treehouse. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Treehouse before, but what Treehouse is, is their main mission is to uh, end hopelessness among teenagers, okay? So that's what you guys are, okay? So how many of you guys have faced some type of like, um, I don't know, like anxiety or fear or some type of like um, thing that you kind of, that, that was tough on your life? Uh, raise your hand if you have. Appreciate you for being vulnerable. That, I appreciate that a lot, okay? So here's the whole point of Treehouse, okay? Like I said, it's to end hopelessness among teens, okay? And how do we do that? How do we tackle such a big problem in today's age, right? So the main thing that we focus on at Treehouse is three things, okay? The first one is mentoring, okay? Mentoring, how does that look like? So throughout this week or throughout the uh, five, six weeks that I've been working with Mobile Hope and Treehouse, um, I've been mentoring a bunch of kids. And what we do is we kind of sit down and just go eat like food. We go to McDonald's and just get like a shake or something. And what the whole point of this is just to focus on building relationships uh, with you guys. Okay. The second thing is program nights or connect nights. And what we do is on these nights is we bring um, like a teaching kind of like what it is uh, what you guys do in youth group. So we bring a teaching that has to do with the word of God so we can sow that seed of Christ in your lives. That's super important, right? It's valuable. Um, and the last thing that we do is uh is support groups, which is my favorite thing in Treehouse. And what support groups looks like is we sit down in a group of probably like five, six people, and we just sit down and we talk about what's going on in our lives, right? It's a safe place where you can be vulnerable and be honest, and no one's here to judge, right? So we sit down and we just talk about, okay, how our week has been. We rate our week one to 10, okay? We also talk about um, some emotions that we felt through that week. Okay. And then also why we felt these emotions in our week. So once kind of the leaders or the, you know, that are, or volunteers that are there, um, at Treehouse kind of figure out what your week has been and kind of the emotions that you're feeling, we kind of figure out, okay, like you're, what, we're, what you guys are kind of going through. Right. And the two things that we focus on is either helping you through a struggle that you have, or we just celebrate with you guys and whatever like victory you end up uh, having in your life. So the whole point, again, like I said, in Treehouse is to end hopelessness among your guys' age, and that's so important. I see that, like, a lot of you guys in your age, you guys make really good decisions, but also bad ones where you're here from, let's say, uh, you're 10 years old to uh, 18, and these decisions are making, are going to impact your life for the rest of your life, okay? So we want to walk with you, we want to guide you, we want to lead you through this process. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, again, my name is David. Um, you can talk to Braxton and or Nathan um, if you want to get connected with me. But I appreciate you guys for just taking like five minutes of your time to listen to what I got to say. So if you guys are interested in attending Treehouse and being part of it, um, I will be starting that up in about two to three months, so end of the summer. Um, so if you guys are interested, please, again, let me know. Um, and, yeah, and, and we need homework help. So uh, let me know if you guys want to be part of that too. So thank you guys.